my experience in Italy was uh, almost one year and two months I had place in a center to stay. But after that they told me that uh, your time is finished and you have to go and rent a place or find a place for yourself. For about four months and five months I was homeless and I was walking around. It was very difficult moments of my life. Fortunately, I found this uh, Jail Nifuma Refugee Center. And uh, when I came here, I found very, very kind people. The center is a necessary place because people need to feel welcomed somewhere. They need to feel like they're part of a community. They need to feel like they can come somewhere for, for help and support. They really helped me. They were psychologists and every day they started meeting with me and they was giving me hope. They was giving me many advices to be hopeful for the future. At least maybe God has some plan for you. At 8.30 we open our doors. There are often around 20 or 30 people waiting outside the gate for the center to open. We serve about 200 breakfasts per day and then our supply room opens at 10 o'clock and that's where people can get razors and shampoos and people will, you know, kind of tidy up for the day, shave and do their hair, get the clothing that they need. And then at 10 o'clock, the language classes also start. Here, you can get help from everything, so not only for food, also to make CV for the job and uh, anyone who has health problem, they are helping them, introducing them to the some hospital which is uh, free, for example. When the board, the United Pan Catherine Board, decided to do the Episcopal Migration Ministries Challenge, it was an opportunity to see if we could raise awareness about the refugees and some of the things that are happening throughout the world. What has happened is we've met these wonderful young women who are working here and the wonderful men who are being served in this program. And as a result of that, I can't help but believe people will get really excited about what can happen with refugees all over the world. When I first arrived, for example, um, there was you know English class maybe once or twice a week and there would be Italian class once or twice a week. And now we have uh, English every day, we have Italian every day, we have French every day, we have uh, German classes, we have at least two volunteers in the supply room every day. We have art therapy twice a week, we have music therapy twice a week. We were just able to really expand our services. So they introduced me with the artisan group, I'm working there. They create handicrafts and they sell them to volunteers that come through our center, also to school markets. The members of the group end up kind of being leaders in the community. All of them are like brothers and sisters. We are eating together, we are working together. It's a very, very nice place for me here. And now I don't feel myself alone. I, I feel that I have a good family. God gives me another family here. If also you can give something a little bit, I think that's a very, very big blessing in your life, but maybe you don't know. They really helped me when I was as homeless, sleeping outside. They rent a place for me. Uh, they have a housing project. At least uh, now I have a place to stay, I have a place to sleep. Uh, and now I can eat good food and uh, my life really changed because of the center.